Fireman Sam and the curious incident of the cat stuck up a tree. It was the 1st of April and everyone was in a jovial state. Alvis was preparing for his Alvis Presley tribute act by learning the song Wooden Heart, much of which was in French. Penny was repairing the steering wheel from the Tillman's cab and Station Officer Steele was cleaning the kitchen. Everyone, that is, except Fireman Sam. He stormed into the fire station in a belligerent mood. That's the third time today I've rescued a cat from the upper bowels of a tree, he opined. I'm supposed to save lives, not cats. Don't they say that cats have nine lives, asked Elvis. But the telephone was ringing and Fireman Sam had taken the call before he could embark upon a pointless conversation with his colleague. Is this an April Fool's prank, Norman Price? Fireman Sam asked of the person with whom he was currently sharing telecommunications. But Norman assured Sam that it wasn't. Norman had been playing with Sam's niece and nephew, Sarah and James, and their cat, Lion. And Lion had got himself stuck up a tree. Fireman Sam had a brainwave. Have you asked Mrs McShell Jones if Lion might be seduced by a bit of battered cod? Bronwyn McShell Jones was Sam's sister-in-law and Sarah and James's mother, and her occupation was running the fish and chip shop. We've tried a whole host of approaches, said Norman dejectedly, but Lion is maintaining his position. Norman's horrendous pun lightened his mood, if not Fireman Sam's. I'll be right there as soon as I've done some calculations, Sam assured him, and slammed the receiver down. Sam turned to Elvis. Have you heard of the Poisson distribution? Elvis's French lessons had prepared him for such an inquiry. Would you like me to go to the supermarket, he asked. Rainbow trout never fail to attract cats. As sensible a query as it was, Fireman Sam was not in an appropriate disposition. The Poisson distribution has nothing to do with fish, he retorted. It is a statistical model, wholly likely to have been invented by a personage with Poisson as his or her surname. Probably his he added sexlessly. I reckon, he continued, that historically I have rescued 2.25 cats a week on average, time that would have been spent more productively hosing water over inflammable objects. Bring me that Pearson Excel formula book, Penny, and let's do some sums. Penny discontinued repairing the steering wheel, and having collected the aforementioned text and the calculating device, sat by Sam at the desk. Elvis joined them too, but Station Officer Steele was too preoccupied with cleaning soup from the inside walls of the microwave. The Poisson distribution, announced Fireman Sam. Appropriate when you have single independent events occurring at a constant average in continuous space or time. In the past fortnight, I've been called out to rescue at least seven cats, said Sam, when according to our historical records, I ought to have been called out 4.5 times. Penny, who was taking evening classes in statistical methods, consulted the table in the formula book. At least seven is the opposite of six or fewer, which for a mean... And variance, Sam interrupted. And variance, continued Penny, or 4.5, gives us one take 0.8311, which equals 0.1689. And in March, which for the purposes of explaining to Elvis we shall assume to be exactly four weeks in length, I rescued between 11 and 15 inclusive, stated Fireman Sam, when the mean was nine, four multiplied by 2.25. That P is less than or equal to 15, take P is less than or equal to 10, which is 0 0.9780 minus 0 0.7060, which is 0 0.2720, calculated Penny. And now, in the last week, I've rescued, or I would have rescued, five cats. What are the chances of that? Penny looked at Fireman Sam for reassurance, and realised that the Poisson table would not be an applicable tool for cracking this walnut. I guess I will need to use this formula. Penny opened the formula booklet to a different, more apt page. Lambda is 2.25 and R, a.k.a. X, is 5. Sticking it into this formula gives a probability of 5.06%. Elvis interrupted. Shouldn't the mean be mu rather than lambda if you're doing sums about cats? His lame attempt at humour was ignored. Fireman Sam doffed his hat and strolled over to the pole that led to the fire engine below. I'm off to save a lion, he said. Be careful, warned Elvis. Lions can be dangerous. April Fool, exclaimed Fireman Sam, as he left to retrieve a cat that just so happened to have a name that made him seem a whole lot scarier than he really was. <laughs>